Hello, my name is Anne, and this is Toby, and welcome to episode 99 of a Toby Knits podcast. So for all of you in the room who have not been here before, my podcast is all about knitting and sometimes crochet on a Monday. Wednesdays is floss tube, so it's about cross stitch. And Friday, it's Quilty Fun, which is all about my newest passion. Um, <clears throat> you can probably tell I have a cold. Um, no, it's not the COVID. Because I've actually had three tests. <laughs> so I know it's not. <clears throat> Although I do feel rather crummy. And that is why this video is up really late today. Because normally I record all my videos for the week on a Sunday. And yesterday, all I did was sleep all day. And basically most of the morning all I've done is sleep. But I thought, ah, uh, I need to just put something up for you guys. So this is um, gonna be really quick. And I do have my glass of water in case I need to take a sip. Because my throat keeps uh, <clears throat> drying out. So what have I got to tell you about? Well, there is the usual mitered square and the triangular blanket and a new cast on because I put shawlography in the naughty corner, as Marion said last week on my podcast. I thought that was brilliant. The naughty corner. I love that. So it's gone in the naughty corner because I'm fed up with it. So, and I wasn't enjoying knitting it. And somebody else said, if you don't enjoy it, don't knit it. So I'll put it away for now and I'll get it out again later. Um, so I'm still continuing it on with my lovely mitered squares. And I think the problem is right now, but it's not really a problem. I'm obsessed with these minis. <laughs> so let's just get right into the, now <clears throat> I have started a square, so <laughs> it's not gonna look completely right, but let me try to find the right way. So here is my blanket so far. And for those of you who will remember the very first row, so every other row, every other square, I should say is white because I like white in everything. And all these squares down here were with a Legacy Fiber Arts bunch of minis that I got about two or three Christmases ago and the, they were what I had left. So I thought, well, I'll put them in here first to see if, I, if I'm enjoying this. And then I started getting Ellie Jones's mixed tape minis. Um, and she sends them out every month and they're based on songs, which I love from the eighties, my era. And, um, <clears throat> she, um, they all have a, a color theme sort of going on. So the blues were kind of like blues and grays were January's colors. So I put them in there and then these are February's colors. And again, we started with a blue and then we're into the these lovely greens. So this is the Mita Square Blanket and I keep losing my stitches, there we go. And they're fun to make, they're very easy to knit up. There's loads of tutorials on how to do a Mita Square Blanket online. Um, and I even did one myself a few weeks ago, so you can always look back at that. The other thing that I've been working on, which was the reason I got the mixtape minis, which is, is five gorgeous hand-dyed minis by Ellie, is because I wanted to do the triangulum blanket, which if you've all been regular, no, I messed it completely up the first time I attempted it. But anyway, now here is all the January colors. You can see them a little better because they're all together. Now the plant, Pattern calls for six triangles to make this sort of flower. And so I had to use one color twice. So I picked my favorite of the colors. So there was the Januaries. And then here are the February colors. 
gosh, and that's the one I'm doing right now in the blanket, the other blanket. But didn't they come out lovely? And then in between them, I have put white. Because I wanted to specifically, oh, <laughs> I wanted to specifically show the actual, so I know that's January and that's February and so on and so on in the blanket. So this is coming on lovely. Now, believe it or not, and the minis that we get are 20 grams. I still had some left after I'd done this and the Midas Square Blanket. I still had some left and I thought, what am I going to do with them? Then I thought, I know, I know, I'm going to make some socks. Look at this oh my goodness is this just not the best thing you've ever seen and because I don't know when I'm gonna run out because when you're dealing with this little tiny piece you're not quite sure I'm doing two at a time two at a time so these are on my chow go 2.25s and these are on my um hmm something sharp higher higher sharp <laughs> Um, which this annoys me on the higher higher by the way anybody know what you can do to get rid of that thing this one hand is nice it does what it's supposed to do this one not so much but you know um, so I just started on this one on the um, gusset which is this part on that now this particular thing and I was very interested I'm just doing a plain 64 cast on uh sock i did my rib in obviously in the white because uh, i wasn't sure how much i'd have of this and the white i just did i think i did 11 rows of knit two pearl two and then straight into uh this and the way i'm doing the stripe it's called i hope i say this correctly and have to look at it to make sure a Fibonacci striped sock and what that is I had to look it up um, and the idea came to me actually from this book um, this is the Anne Bud book I got this when I first started learning how to do uh, socks and I knew I wanted to do something so I looked it up and here it is it's the Fibon, uh, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. So anyway, I'll read you what it says. One of my favorite stripe sequences is based on the Fibonacci series where you begin with the number one and two. Then add the last two numbers of the series together to come up with the next number. For example, the first six numbers of the series are one, two, three, five, eight, and 13. For working stripes, knit the specified number of rounds with one color and then the next specified number of rounds with a different color. So, <clears throat> um, <coughs> excuse me, what I did with this was I started out with two rows of the gray. Then I went to three rows of the blue, five because two and three equal five five of this gray then five and three is eight so it's eight of this row and then eight and five is 13. so i used all of the five colors right up until here then what i did was i started again with the gray but in, i didn't want the, the repeat to be exactly the same so i did one with gray then two with the green then three with the gray, uh, with the other gray, which before was five, then five with the blue, and then 13 with this. So that's how I've been doing it. Um, and then I'll start out again with the next color as one, which will, should be, um, uh, sorry, which would be 13, I think, because this is eight, would be the gray. So it's a fun way to watch it growing and the different colors. So I 
really hope I can get to the end of my foot before I need to do the wipe for the toe and be able to get all of it. Otherwise, I may end up messing my sequence up, but we'll see. We'll see. So that's what I've been doing this week besides sleeping with my cold. Didn't have the little grandson today. Apparently he's coming tomorrow. So I hope to goodness I feel better by tomorrow. And uh, he's the one who gave it me. He's the one who had the snotty nose all last week, little bugger. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't had a cold for so long. I think, I think I've had two colds in the past two and a half, three years. So it's like when you get a cold, you're now, you're, well, the first thing you think of is, oh my gosh, do I have it? And of course we did all the testing and we have the rapid test. So no, I don't have it. But then you're like, oh my God, I feel awful. Is this what a cold feels like? Oh my gosh, my back hurts. Oh, my throat hurts. It's like <laughs> an energy, got none, got none. But thank goodness I can just sit and knit and watch the tally. Oh man. Anyway, so I'm going because <clears throat> I'm going to start coughing. So I'm sorry again that this is late up today, but I do hope you enjoy it. Please give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And come back Wednesday for some floss tube. It might be late Wednesday too, but we'll, we'll have to see. Okay, bye.